Looking for a fun way to win up to 25 times your money this football season? Test your skills on Prize Picks, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projection for a wide variety of statistics, and place your entry. It's as easy as that. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $250 with just a few taps. Easy gameplay, quick withdrawals, and an enormous selection of players and stat options are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Ready to test your skills? Join the Prize Picks community of more than 7 million football fans who have already signed up. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Just visit prizepicks.com slash get100 and use code GET100. That's code GET100 at prizepicks.com slash get100 for a first deposit matchup to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. Looking for a fun way to win up to 25 times your money this basketball season? Test your skills on Prize Picks, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projection for a wide variety of stats, and place your entry. It's as easy as that. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $250 with just a few taps. Easy gameplay, quick withdrawals, and injury insurance on your picks are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Ready to test your skills? Join the Prize Picks community of more than 7 million players who have already signed up. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Just visit prizepicks.com slash get100 and use code get100. That's code get100 at prizepicks.com slash get100 for a first deposit matchup to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. This episode contains references to suicide. Listener discretion is advised. Last week on Stick Shifts Incorporated. We found a bug in the car. That's the 45th employee that's been bugged this week. What on earth happened to you? Leave me alone. I'm fine. Was it Lucy? What are you doing here? Now, is that any way to greet a guest? Tell me what's going on. The guest at table eight is the detective that questioned me after Jules Mason died. SSI has no website, no app, nothing. They're like digital ghosts. Give me a call if you notice or experience anything unusual in regards to Stick Shift Incorporated. I'm so glad you called in that tip. As much as I hate to admit it, Monica's team was effective too. The detective already had his antenna up thanks to all the recent crashes. For his glory. For his glory. There's no doubt that this is Lucy's work. They found us last Tuesday at around 3 in the morning. That woman in purple, Katie... She's terrifying in person, and a lot harder to shake, too. I've lost count of how many jumps we've had to make just to stay ahead of her. I think we might actually be safe now. <clears throat> right. We landed in the middle of some kind of desert. There's sand everywhere, and the sky is this strange magenta color... It's been that way for the past hour. Something here doesn't feel quite right. Like, there's a different pressure in my lungs, and... I'm not entirely certain we're still on Earth. He probably knows exactly where we are, but... I don't think I want to know. So, I tracked down that phone call. You know, the one from the end of the last clip we saw... Looks like the caller was Mr. Catacosmos's nephew. Here, let me play it for you. Heard you've been having some trouble lately. I don't have time for your games. No games? I called to give you a warning. I'm listening. That detective is on to you. What detective? He had an enlightening conversation with one of your employees earlier today. Which employee? It's a shame you're not better at communicating with your people. Are you doing this because you were fired from head of global communications? With good reason, might I add, after you poison my poor dog that way. Or do you simply enjoy irritating me? Can't it be both? Besides, poison is too strong of a word. I wasn't trying to kill the darn thing. Your dog loved those rainbow-flavored treats. How was I supposed to know he was allergic? But hey, 
If you don't need my help dealing with the attacks from this new alliance, then... You know about Lucy's alliance? <laughs> it isn't Lucy's anything. They agreed to the alliance, but they're not the mastermind behind it. What did you do? <laughs> what? You think I'm pulling the strings? I would never work with Lucy. They smell like rotten eggs and... Uh, well, Lucy always was a bit of a tyrant. I can't stand tyrants. Besides, I'm on your side, Uncle. Uh-huh. For a price, I bet. It's only fair. <sighs> Fine. I'll make you head of global communications again. Just stay away from my dog. Your last prank had him regurgitating blue sparkles for months. Do you know how difficult it is to get rid of glitter? I have an idea, and I accept your terms. Great. Now tell me more about this mastermind you mentioned. Oh, come on. Why would you end the recording there? God, these files are almost as frustrating as he is. <laughs> Maybe I should just pick another file at random again. It'll probably make about as much sense. How about uh, this one? Oh, that's embarrassing. It's video. I'm taking a baseball bat to the side of my car. Well, more accurately, I'm beating the crap out of the Stick Shift Incorporated decal. This was pretty late in my career with them. If you could call it a career. And here come the cops. Put the bat down and please step away from the vehicle. I do neither of those things. This is my car. We're going to need to verify that. So, again, please put the bat down. I drop the bat. There's an almost feral look in my eyes. Are you going to arrest me? You said this is your car? Yeah. Do you have any proof? Yeah. Hold on. I fish the keys out of my pocket and open the passenger door. A small crowd has gathered around us. They're not in a tight circle or anything, just passers-by doing their best to pretend that they're not watching, not secretly loving every minute of this confrontation. I pull my registration out from the glove compartment and hand it to the officer. Do you have your license on you? I dig around in my wallet for that and hand it over. Can you explain why you were hitting your vehicle with a baseball bat at 10 o'clock in the morning? It's my car. They exchange a look. You know, we don't really need to watch the rest of this. It's pretty boring, really. They called in the mental health unit. I told them I was fine, yada, yada, yada. No big deal. We should probably play these files in chronological order from now on. Okay. Right after Detective Marley's surprise visit at Can Pai, I decided to squeeze in a quick chauffeur gig before going home for the night. We're watching from inside my car as a steady drizzle patters down over Vancouver. Welcome, Skylar Henderson. Thank you for signing in to the Six Shift Incorporated Employee Tracker System. You currently have no assigned jobs. Would you like to create one? Yes. Searching. Potential passenger located on the southbound lane of Knight Street Bridge. That's an awkward pickup location. Where are they headed? Their destination is 4133 Thorpe Road. Weird. That's not too far from where they already are. They could probably walk there. Why would they need a ride? Would you like to accept? I mean, it's going to take me a while to actually get to them, but... Sure, why not? Excellent. You will be transporting William Katzen. Okay, William... Let's go see why you're hanging out on the Night Street Bridge this late at night. Okay, so we're driving. Let me skip ahead some. All right. The steady drizzle is now a heavy downpour. Visibility is severely reduced. Honestly, it's so thick that I probably should have pulled over and waited it out. How the heck am I going to find William when I can barely see. William Katzen is 500 meters ahead. On your right. Okay, we're slowing down now and turning into the emergency lane. 300 meters. 150 meters. Stop. We're looking out now where there's a shadow just barely visible that's sitting on the edge of the bridge. Is that William? Affirmative. 
Please retrieve the passenger. Can't I just honk the horn or something to get William's attention? Please retrieve the passenger. <sighs> All right. I pull up the hoodie on my raincoat and leave the car. As I approach the man on the bridge, it's obvious how pale and bruised he is. God, I wish I had paid more attention. <clears throat> William Caston? It's still down there. Did you drop something? I shouldn't be here. It's not supposed to work this way. Oh, uh, William? Leave me alone. I'm supposed to die. Hey, buddy. Why don't you come down from that ledge there for me? Don't patronize me. I I'm right. Things here are wrong. I was supposed to fall and all the pain and all the noise was supposed to turn off. There isn't supposed to be an after, only an end. It's not right. I hear you. Life is really hard and painful and noisy. Believe me, I get it. Especially with my two roommates. Shut up! Shut up! This isn't about you. You shouldn't even be here, and neither should I. None of this should be happening. It's over. You're right. It's not about me, and you're clearly hurting. But could you please come over here and talk to me about it? I really don't want you to fall. <laughs> There's no point in falling now. He slowly scrambles off the ledge and walks towards me. His arms and legs seem like they're too loose at the joints, but I didn't see that at the time. Looking back now, it's so obvious, but... He halts about a foot in front of me and narrows his bloodshot eyes. Are you dead too? Sometimes it sure feels like it. <clears throat> Did you call for a ride? A ride? Yeah, I work with Sticks Shift Incorporated, and they told me you wanted a ride from here to Thorpe Road. Sticks? Sticks? Shift Incorporated, yeah. Is your name Karen? No. I mean, technically, yes. My middle name is Karen. Why? And did you order a ride, or should I get, like, an ambulance or something? Huh. I didn't expect the Greeks to be right. Figures. I'm sorry? Right about what? Never mind, Karen. I'm ready to go. It's Skylar, but okay. The car's right over there. <sighs> Let's get out of this rain. It's raining? William peers down at his clothing, which is obviously drenched. He looks genuinely shocked. So strange. I can't feel a thing. And my hands, they're so opaque. I thought they'd be more translucent. What's that? Oh, nothing. Wow. Just... Wow. All the signs were right there. I mean, they couldn't have been any clearer. This changes everything. I... I need some time to process this. I mean, really process this. Looking for a fun way to win up to 25 times your money this basketball season? Test your skills on Prize Picks, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projection for a wide variety of stats, and place your entry. It's as easy as that. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $250 with just a few taps. Easy gameplay, quick withdrawals, and injury insurance on your picks are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Ready to test your skills? Join the Prize Picks community of more than 7 million players who have already signed up. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Just visit prizepicks.com slash get100 and use code get100. That's code get100 at prizepicks.com slash get100. For a first deposit matchup to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. With Lucky Land slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to. Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. <gasps> no, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Okay, I thought it over and there's still a chance that my hunch is incorrect. So I'm going to go through a few more files before I make any declarative statements. Just in case. So this video is from the day after the incident with William Caston. 
It's morning, and we're looking down into my bedroom. I'm sprawled out on my bed, making the most of finally being able to sleep in. Sleep in days are so rare. Especially because when I wasn't dealing with Steve's band practice. You'll never stop me, super mega ultra kids! <laughs> I am going to take over the world! There was always Kobe's side hustle, voice acting. Mm. Did I just dream about a giant ape with arms made of spaghetti rampaging on Night Street Bridge? I did indeed have that dream. There was also a tiny pterodactyl involved and something about a harmonica, but we're not here to evaluate my psyche. We're here to listen to me talk to myself, because... That's a totally normal thing that normal people do. Did I do the right thing giving that William person a ride last night? Should I have called an ambulance instead? Brats, I have been foiled again for shame! I pull myself out of bed and walk out of frame. Okay, now we're watching from the hallway as I pad over to Kobe's door and tap on it. Come in! I I mean, (laughs) sorry, come in! We're in Kobe's room now. It's immaculate. Almost sickeningly so, the word monastic comes to mind. Yeah, he was definitely in a cult. There is no other logical reason for a grown man to have that many creepy angel figurines in his room. Their eyes just follow you around the room. And honestly, how many Bibles does one person need? How much more do you have to record? I've got a few more lines. Why? What's wrong? You look like you have something on your mind. Remember that detective who showed up at Camp Pie? Yeah? He thinks the company I'm driving for is up to something hanky. I can see why. You've only been working for them for, what, a month? And already you've had one lady die, not to mention you got in that accident. Yeah. Did something happen last night? The person I picked up? They weren't doing so great. Like, probably dealing with some serious untreated mental stuff. And I just picked them up and dropped them off. You didn't call for a wellness check or anything? No, I know that's what I should have done, but by then I was so tired and the whole thing was so weird and... Ah, I get it. You're wondering if you should call that detective, but you're scared. I'm not scared. Not of the detective. It's everything. I'm tired and overwhelmed and constantly stressed, and it's so hard to even think straight anymore. I feel like I keep missing something. Bits of information. Signs. Stuff that the old me would have spotted right away. Ah. Know what I think? What? I think it's time you give that detective a call. (sighs) You're probably right. Did that? It just... I could have sworn one of his creepy angel things just moved. Nope, 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 nope. Not touching that one. Time for a new clip. Here we go. This is roughly the same time at Alexandria Books. We're in the administrative office where Sarah is busy sorting folders into boxes. Monica steps in and seems confused. What are you doing? Packing for the road. You going somewhere? Yes. Today, in fact. Where? Home. Whoa. Sarah just snapped her fingers and each of the boxes she packed magically shrank down to the size of a pack of gum. Okay, she's holding her purse open and the tiny boxes are just floating inside, one by one. (laughs) I bet they're in alphabetical order, too. Is it weird that the magic part of it doesn't even bother me anymore? Didn't think you had the guts. Try not to tear the shop down while I'm gone, okay? Who? Me? Sarah gives her this glare that could curdle milk. Monica takes a half step back in response, and I don't blame her. Now there's this glow enveloping Sarah's body. It's different from the glow that Katie had. This one feels more... quiet. You're not going to... right now? Here? Sarah is clearly ignoring her now. She shakes her shoulders ever so slightly, and whoa. That I was not expecting. There are these giant, white, angelic wings that just sort of unfolded from Sarah's back. You have got to be kidding me. We may be working together for now, but remember who's in charge. Don't you ever question my authority again. What just... she's gone. 
Sarah is gone, just disappeared. And Monica is scowling in the corner, but she doesn't seem the least bit surprised. We'll see who's in charge. Bet she'll be singing a different tune after she finally sees what it's really like up there. So, angels are a thing. Sarah is an angel, and angels are a thing. Sorry, but this is... Does that mean Kobe is... After watching that clip, I demanded another interview. Did you know that Sarah was an angel? Yes. Like an angel from heaven with God and all that? That is what you said. Was my roommate an angel? Which one? Kobe. What do you think? Why did William call me Karen? And that fortune teller, the one who gave me the card with Stick Shift Incorporated's number on it. Why did they keep on insisting that I'm a Karen too? I think you know. Let's pretend that I don't. Tell me why. You know I don't operate that way, Skylar. And who are you, anyway? I'm your patron. You've told me that before, but what does that even mean? No, you know what? I don't care. Don't give me some title or stupid code name. I want your real name. Who? What are you? I'm an old family friend. In the time before, your ancestors called me Wisaki Chok. But you can call me Whiskey Jack. Whiskey Jack? Am I dead? If you or a loved one are struggling with suicidal thoughts, get help now. Visit suicide.org for a list of text and phone helplines in your area. This show is made possible in part by our Kickstarter backers, Apocalypse Cowboy on Twitter, Stephen LaFon from the Whichever Path podcast, Dwayne Farber, and 1985 The Podcast by Cherie Madewell. Special thanks to our muse on Patreon, Olivia. Thank you so much for believing in us. If you'd like to support the show, consider becoming a patron. You can also support the show by rating, subscribing, and sharing with others. Sharing is caring, after all. Stick Shift Incorporated was written, produced, and set in Vancouver, B.C., which is the unceded shared traditional territories of the Coast Salish peoples, including the territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and tsleil nations. This episode featured the voices of Ari Shea, Brad, Brandon Jenkins, Cass McPhee, Frederick S. Gregory, Haley C. McCarthy, Richard Collins, and Dietrich Marie Bowie. Music for the show was composed by Anthony Luis Sanchez. If you'd like to hear more of his work, visit anthonyluissanchez.com or subscribe to his YouTube channel, Molto Rubato 88 Think you know what will happen next? Tweet us your theories, or hop into our Discord server linked in the show notes. Stick Shift Incorporated is a Microphones and Monsters production. You can find Stick Shift Incorporated wherever podcasts are found or at sticksshift.com. That's sticksshift.com. You can also find other great Microphones and Monsters podcasts at micsandmonsters.com. That's micsandmonsters.com. Don't forget to check out our Patreon as well at www.patreon.com slash micsandmonsters. That's patreon.com slash micsandmonsters. Thank you for riding with Stick Shift Incorporated, the only truly global riding service. Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on chumbacasino.com. I looked over at the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at chumbacasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's chumbacasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. DTW, avoid were prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. It is Ryan here, and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? 
Like, are you a fist pumper, a woo a hand clapper, a high-fiver? I kind of like the high-five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At ChumbaCasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino-style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses, so don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. BGW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.